also have Madison with us as well as Toby and Charlie. And um, our end game this time is Grand Lake of the Cherokees in Oklahoma. And we're going to be staying at Water's Edge Campground, which has an address of Vanita, although my mom swears it's not Vanita, but it is. <laughs> According to the post office. According to the post office, Vanita is on Grand Lake in Oklahoma. So stay tuned and glad you're along for the ride. So the Harvest Host that we stayed at last night is Ad Astris Missile Silo in Wilson, Kansas. And um, it's pretty cool at night. Um, the camp host, his name is Michael, has a fire pit that he sets up and people just kind of hang out. So it's um, really like a community Harvest Host. It's kind of cool. Um, because it's a missile silo, there's not um, a product per se to buy. So not like a winery or a brewery. Um, so, but what you are paying for is the tour of the missile silo itself, which is pretty interesting and kind of cool. Um, it's twenty dollars a person. Twenty-five, but still a good, good oh, deal. Oh, is it twenty-five? Yep. Sorry, um, but it's kind of worth it. It's pretty cool. So this is one of my favorite parts of this um, missile silo. This is a mulberry tree. And those are mulberries. So the black ones are, oops, ready to eat. Uh, I squished them. I highly recommend trying them out if you ever see a mulberry tree. Hi, everybody. So we are at our second harvest host at Prairie Rattler Winery. And it's so nice. And the proprietor, I believe his name is Richard and his wife, super, super nice. Um, the wines were super great and um, fun to try. They have a very small tasting room in there, um, but they had great stories and it was a great experience. So I'm just going to show you around the winery a little bit, um, but it was a great harvest host and a wonderful spot here in Oklahoma. I would like my friends to know that as Dale gets closer to our destination, he gets a little slap happy and start singing funny songs. I've heard start... a disagree. See, that's his dad joke because we just went over the Verdigris River. Verdigris. And now he's dad joking. This is what we're gonna make for dinner tonight. It is a sausage and pepper skillet. So on the black top, I have um, the zucchini squash, onions, bell peppers. I have a yellow bell pepper and a green bell pepper. Where am I leaving off? Red onion, zucchini, I think that's it. With some olive oil, garlic powder, paprika, salt and pepper, and that's sauteing up. And then I'm going to add some um, cheddar broth. Um, to this, so it'll be a sausage and pepper skillet, and that's what's for dinner tonight. Okay, well, here we are at Grand Lake, getting ready to go have some fun. So the campsites are up there. We walk down that hill and launch from there. But the campground from the water side is right here, so this is a little peninsula. There's Jen. Hi, Jen. I gained a passenger. What do you think, Toby? Madison gained a passenger too. So this is our 
deck. And then to get to the water, I don't know what you're supposed to do, but you can travel down this little path here. It's a little shady. Um, Jennifer fell the other day. That was very scary. Oh my goodness. You're welcome, my blue shirt. Sorry. <laughs> and leaving now in the rain. <laughs> oh! oh. So we got a little rain, as you saw earlier. It's a little wet out here right now. Um, I'm sure it will disappear real soon. Let's see what we can hear. We got scallops, salt and pepper. And over there, smell the vision, you got the To the docks. That's our Model T Kawasaki. It's the old workhorse. Rarely breaks down. Usually it's used as a tow boat to tow, the, to tow nicer jet skis in that have broken down. Hi, Dale. How are you doing? We're going to take the jet skis out and have fun before these clouds start spitting. Rain. It's going to be fun. We've jet skied more than one time this week in the rain, and it's been super fun. Yeah. Madison and I, there's Madison. Madison and I are out on Grand Lake today and um, it is the Friday of 4th of July weekend. And you can see by my rocking, uh, the seas are a little rough today. <laughs> a lot more boats out here than there have been all week, but it's the first sunny day we've had in, what do you think, five days? Good job. Yeah, first sunny day in like five days, so I think everybody's out here. But yesterday we were at Shangri-La, and that is right over here. Let me just flip between this area where the little hotel is, is kind of where we were yesterday. We have just gone under Sail Boat Bridge, which is this beauty right here. And it's pretty cool. Um, from under the water. We've gone over on the roadside several times, but never under it. So we finally made it. High five, Madison. Um, so here's what it looks like over sail boat bridge. It looks like they are building a brand new RV park here. Um, according to the interwebs, which is always true, um, it looks like they have a margarita cart that goes by every day at five o'clock. Um, also, the weird part is the water here, uh, I swear it's a different color than the water over by the dam where we are. So, this lake is ginormous and there's a lot of debris in the water right now. Could be from five days of rain, I'm not sure. Yeah. They're all crawling on the ice. Fourth of July, the water is really warm, and me and Toby here are just paddling on the paddleboard. Here's this big boat about to come. Everybody else is floating in the water over there. He's our little paddle dog um, with his little life jacket here. He's all set up. 
Happy Fourth of July! Happy Fourth of July, Madeline! Happy Fourth of July! Happy Fourth of July! Happy Fourth of July! Here we are out in the bay at Grand Lake. Are you having a good time? Yes, I'm having a very good time today. It is our second sunny day and we are taking full advantage of the sun. And if you look carefully, the dam is straight out here and there's several boats out there. That's causing our little bit of wake here in the in the uh, cold, but it's super nice. All right, so we're at Grand Lake and I'm floating on this island. It's really long. The water is amazing here. The weather is really nice and it's sunny, but I'm in the shade. So I've been spilling everybody's beer on this mat. Water's Edge RV Park in Venita, Oklahoma on Grand Lake in the Cherokees. Very, very nice place. Uh, they have all, well, 90% of their sites back up to the lake. Um, they have little patios, or what would you call them? Little decks, decks that overhang over the lake. So, the only problem is that the, the water is about 10 feet down a sketchy incline that you have to walk down, very rocky. I don't think it's made to walk up and down. I didn't see a whole lot of people doing it other than us. Um, just because you want to get in the water when you're at the lake. But an easier way would probably go to the boat dock or the swim dock and then either swim or float or boat out to where you want to be in the cove. Yeah, um, but that's not our stuff. Grand Lake is a rocky bottom lake at the shore, especially in the areas we were at. A good water shoot would be ideal. We did go to um, Shangri-La, Shangri which is a little resort on Grand Lake. To a new bar called Anchors. Grand opening was on Friday, so yeah, we went on Thursday. Um, and who did we meet? Toby Keith! Um, and? Oh, and Kale Gundy. That's right. Can't, can't. It's the day before Grand opening. So, long story short, we walk in and sit down, and at the bar was Toby Keith and Kale Gundy. Um, Toby Keith, country music singer. Kale Gundy, I believe, is the quarterback like quarterback coach for the University of Oklahoma. He used to be a quarterback back in the 90s, in, in the 1900s when I went to school there. Um, so recognize them, but I sat down and I was like, you know how you recognize somebody and you're like, you're not sure that's who it is. So I told my friend Jen that I was 90% sure that that was Toby Keith and Kale Gundy. And she, we had, he had to go to the bar to get a drink. And they were at the bar, literally right back to back with Toby Keith. Somebody called him Toby. She walks around and looks at me from across the room and does this bit. It's so funny. It's not unusual to see Toby Keith out and about in Oklahoma. He is from Moore, so um, it's just kind of fun to see him. So we do have, we do, have, we didn't talk to him because I figured he was on his Fourth of July vacation too. So. So I got a new hat for my birthday, but I put it on upside down because the brim is so big. Yeah, I totally look like a goober. It's happening, I'm going to switch it around. <laughs> Beer. Are you getting cranky already? Yes, I am. Why? Well, this was on the whole time I was talking. Oh, come on, you got a smile. That's you a look tangent. like Cranky Pants. That's a tangent. You still look like Cranky Pants. A lot of power. Matt. Are you 
sure? Yes. Lots of rain. It rained Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm so happy that you're naming the days of the week and every day that it rained. I know. Always push the button. We're done. Maybe I should have kids. Owning little right, slaves, mom and dad. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what? 